Tree! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Kang Reap Vibes. It's about time we did something with this AU. We ripped the motor out a little while ago and it's just been sitting, getting neglected on the back burner, being busy with other stuff. We're gonna slap a motor in it. So we got a RV20 that Tyler the Apprentice put together over there. But yeah, we're gonna be slapping the RB20 Neo turbo, turbo box. We've got a built diff, which we'll go through. It's gonna get all the bells and whistles. We've got a Link ECU supplied by the boys. So shout out Link ECU. Bunch of good brands and companies helping to put this build together. It's gonna to be kitted out with all the Zoo performance lines and fittings as always. It's gonna be Kang. Jason wants this done for Reed Suri apparently. Ha, two weeks away. Two weeks tomorrow. So I just said our event is in two weeks, but at the time you're watching this, when this video goes live, it's actually this weekend on the 4th, 5th and 6th of November, this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's our final round of the Battle Royale on the Friday. And we got a two day Matsuri, Ritsuri, the following two days. So it's a huge weekend of drifting. Make sure you get your tickets, don't miss it. Friday night is gonna be the best drivers in Victoria. Battling it out for one more time. Get your tickets. The AU is not gonna be making an appearance because it's so far off being done. Bloody apprentice, suck it off. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, don't miss this event, guys. It's gonna be one epic weekend. Head over to keeperreek.com. Don't miss out, Calder Park, Melbourne. It's gonna be sick. I'm flat out rebuilding the wagon or refreshing it for the D1NZ season next year. So I'm gonna try and get Tali to do most of it. Speed build, you reckon? About time Tali kicks it into gear, I reckon. Stop fluffing a bit. Probably, <laughs> we, we finally found all the parts. So. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit of a bits of this one. We've had a fair few RBs go through this factory, so this motor was fully bare, and then uh, we are trying to scavenge parts from every corner of every factory. Um, what do we got here, mate? What is it? We had a shat block that had been sitting for a while. Uh, we had a bunch of sumps. I'm not sure if, yeah, the head was off it, wasn't it? Yeah. So we took the head, cleaned it up. Uh, new valve springs, uh, same buckets and shims. Ended up using the old valve stem seals, I think so. Don't know, I Don't had know. one set of valve stem yeah, seals. Yeah, that's what it was. Ordered yeah. valve stem seals for it and they sent one side, so yeah. I think one side got fresh seals, but yeah, so she's been skimmed, got the head gasket, Head studs, it's got a sump with it. Drain that's been welded on. New timing belt. Have to redo it though, cause <laughs> adjustable uh, exhaust yeah. gear. Got an adjustable gear to put on. So this mode is an RV20 Neo. Uh, it's pretty uncommon, but yeah, it's got the VCT and the solid lifter head. I think solid bucket, I don't know. It's got a better head. Should be able to rev it, so, except it is a Neo, but it doesn't actually have the extended crank collar for the oil pump engagement like the R34 Neos do, the RB25 DE Neos. So that's strange. It's a bit of a bits of motor, it's very interesting. Should be all right. It's gonna sing to the moon. We're gonna rev the absolute shit out of it and make some Kang power. Over here, we have a dip. Turns wheels. Trying to think. Oh, I can't think of his name. But we had a friend. Oh, a friend? Since when have you had other friends? Oh, friend. Of a friend of a friend. So you can have this AU diff sitting around. So I picked that up, dropped it off to Diff King in Dandenong, and they built this thing up. So it's we've gone to 411 ratio, full spool center, and 31 spline billet axles. So it's the same axles we run in the wagon. So it's basically bulletproof. <laughs> Wagon makes 800 horsepower. This will be lucky to see four or 500 horsepower. Indestructible diff, the AU. It was about two and a half grand to get it fully built. It's not that bad, I guess, for an unbreakable rear end. So that'll be Kang. Got a diff, got a motor. Got a gearbox over there, just a standard RB25 turbo box out of one of the Skylines. They're good. We got a twin plate that came out of Jason's 33. It's been freshly rebuilt. OS Geekin as far as I'm aware. Twin plate, so that's spicy. Got a heap of cool parts. Hold on one second. You don't have to film. I'm off camera, behind the scene. We did a list for the 
build parts for the YouTube. Trying to work out what we're actually supposed to be doing in this part. All right, so I just worked out what we're actually doing in this video. What we're gonna do is slap the gearbox on the motor, slap it in the almighty AU and make some custom mounts. Let Tali have at it and make some mounts. <laughs> See how that goes. I've, I've left the factory mounts in there for the time being. If we can build off that, then we will, but yeah, we'll basically just... Anyway, let's get to it. Tali's gonna get the box on the motor and uh, slap it in the bay and get it all positioned, try to get the shifter to come up the shifter hole and have enough room for radiator and all that cool stuff. Where are we here? <laughs> Alrighty, Gary's. Uh, here we are. We've just fitted the gearbox up to the motor there and just doing a little dummy test fit. Turns out that it fits really well. The gear stick lines up pretty well with the tunnel, so that should all be good. Alrighty. We've done a little bit of tweaking just on how the motor sits. Um, fits in really well. That's spicy! <laughs> have you have you pointed out how much room there is in this engine bay? I have. I touched on it just before. Oof. So much room for activities. So much room for turbskis. Oof. Speaking of, I should probably mock that manifold up <laughs> and see how it sits. That strut tail is pretty close, eh? But anyway... Anyway, back, back to what you were saying. Back to what I was saying. Uh, we're just seeing how the mounts sit here. Gonna have to do a little bit of fabrication. It's very close. Oh, a bit of MIG, mate. A bit of metal and gaps. Bit of MIG. As you can see, that's how the original mount sits. That's the bottom of the original Falcon mount. Very close. We've only got like a centimetre gap there on the bottom. We're going to get rid of these boring old things and solid mount it straight to the subframe. You have to. Yeah. You have to. So yeah, I'm thinking chop the bottom of this one off on a bit of an angle and piece of flat plate and then extend this one out just a little bit here. Brace her up a little bit and she'll be spicy. Ooh. Spicy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, all right. What was that? That's not what you said before. Alrighty, I'm on me back now. <laughs> oh, that's not how you said it. I need to say how you said it. I'm on me back now. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's our little gearbox uh, subframe and a piece of wood. Getting it to the... Yeah, cross member, that's the one. We've got it just braced up, sitting how we want it with a piece of wood there. As you can see, it lines up perfect with the old tunnel hole. This stick is gonna go in the hole. I'm gonna make it go in the hole. Yeah. Um, as you can see, that's our mount for the gearbox here, which sits slightly more forward. That's a wild Jesse doing boring apprentice jobs over there. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. All right, TJ, Tarly Malone, Talia. No, you ruined it. Go back up, you sponge. You're gonna talk us through what's going on. Go back up. Why does it matter if it's up? We're that half an inch. Go back up. Because it's the moment of truth. All right, Tyler Malone, Talia, TJ, Batch. Whatever you want to call me, that's me. Bitch. Batch. Not, I'm not allowed to say that on camera, man. Slacker. Slacker. <laughs> talk right. us through what's going on here. Nice. This looks exciting. Uh, so. I can't hear you, talk a bit louder. <laughs> got it all centered up. Uh, yeah. We got the gear, the back of the gearbox centered with the tunnel. Front of the crankshaft here centered off these two um, chassis rails. Now we've just got it sitting in, welded up some mounts. All bolted up, all welded up. All bolted up. Looks just pretty a, good. Just Don't a dummy sponge. Yep. So you're about to let the weight off the crane and See if your welds fall apart. See if it holds. Oof. Let's see if it holds it. Ready? Oi! Didn't Keep fall going. out. Keep going. Unhook it. I don't need that anymore, Moment do you? Look at that. That's an RV20. He's still going to clean up this side. Thanks for pointing that out. And we need to paint it. And paint. And are we going to paint the block or no? Yeah, might. Fiddly bits rebuild the block. Dualux rebuild. Look at that. It looks like it's meant to be, doesn't it? It sits in there quite nicely. Heaps of room. What's next? Uh, next is gearbox mount. All right, we're under here. Once again, looks like it's meant to be. 
Oh, dimes, brother. Laying dimes and beeping nines. <laughs> <laughs> Laying boogers and beeping boogers. That's me. Anyway, always. What do we got going on here? Talk us through it. Uh, next up is replacing this little piece of wood with an actual mount. Because so, I don't this think that works. Factory AU cross member and a little bit of 10mm timber in there and and the old mounting surface. It's almost like bang on, eh? I'm happy to sacrifice a little bit on the degrees. We can go to two if it means like lifting this up a bit more because obviously we wanted the motor as low as we can go. So we have to run like two degrees, we'll be fine. Pretty spicy. Should Goes in all right. I don't know. So where are the, they're the mount holes there. Spewing like it's not a bee's dick back. You could just ram a bolt through and call it a day, but. Could elongate those more. Oh and, yeah. And bring it back a little bit. True. Could elongate them to like. I reckon that's the ticket. To here. Get as much as you can out of that. Not bad. Not bad, first engine swap. First engine swap. You're gonna do the wiring too, yeah? Yep, I'll have a crack, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, so You're gonna like see some rat, some ratty wiring, for <laughs> sure, pre-rat nest. I have just noticed, we definitely have right angle, um, I don't even know what they are. A, A, P, A something, A, N fittings. AP. <laughs> I was I was one letter off. Put a 60 on there, I reckon. Can't really put 90s on oil drains because they're gravity fed. That oil filter's gonna be a little bit annoying. Gonna pour oil everywhere. But um, but hey. Oh, it works. Wouldn't be any worse than a European car. That's not bad because we can get a sandwich plate and run an oil cooler. This car probably wants an oil cooler anyway, so mm. might just order a sandwich plate and run some oil lines around the front. Put an oil cooler up here. True. All right, Gary's RB20 and its gearbox is officially in its new home. Mounted. Fully mounted. TJ's just finished the gearbox cross member. Here she is. If you come through, she's here to stay. Well, she'll be coming out. But what do we got? We have one cross member modified to suit whatever that gearbox is, an RB20 gearbox. 25, uh, turbo box. We've just moved, it had like elongated holes already, but I was like, nah, just re-drilled some holes about one centimeter back on those so that that lines up real good. It's original mounting surface. And then we just put a plate in, did some shot welds, cause I'm not that good at welding in small crevices and then just drilled straight through. Okay. Pretty easy. It was more straightforward than I thought it'd be. That's a cross member. That's a cross member. So yeah, she's fully mounted. Everything's sweet. So yeah, the crank is centered between the rails. Two to four degrees of downwards angle. Motors as far back as we can get it with the firewall, with plenty of access to everything. And the shifter conveniently pops up in a great spot. So it's like it's meant to be, Tyler. I think it was meant to be. To it's be meant honest. to be. So right now, he's just pulling out the uh, old diff so we can chuck the built boy in there. So cool. it'll be a very straight swap. Um, at some point, I need to play around with these uh, ghetto anti-axle tramp bars that I made to um, try get this thing oh, it's not just, nice and it's planted. Not just me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? Bird shot. That's kind. But yeah, rip this. Biscuit bones diff out and uh, chuck in the built boy and then just take a measurement for a drive shaft. Isn't that right? Yeah, what are we, are we just going another one piece? Just yeah, we'll just go another one piece. That's a factory AU shaft. Let's ring up JJ drive lines, give them a measurement. Tell them we got this gearbox, standard AU diff and compress the diff up so it sits at right height and then take a measurement and have like 20 mil of yoke outwards. That's a drive shaft measurement. Boys will whip it up down at GJ drive lines and uh, should be good to go. No, right. Ken. No, right. Ken. Double Ken. So Ken. Where can people buy some Kang merch like the one you're wearing? On keepitreat.com. Go and get it. 
We got some new stuff coming in. Real good looking. Uh, our model here uh, it took some nice photos. You might have already seen them by now. Oof. So if you want to get some fresh merch, head over to the website. Support the boys. I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Uh, we're going to keep these videos short and sweet. So if you want to see more of the AU build, let us know down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Give us your uh, thoughts on TJ's vlogging skills. Not great. <laughs> anyway, subscribe for more. Stay tuned. This thing's going to come together real fast now. And uh, yeah, hopefully have it done in a couple of weeks time. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Oof. Oof. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. I'm a my element, element. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. Keep that same in the G. I'm a my element, ooh, yeah. I'm in my element, flow is like water. I'm forced through the fire, I'm feeling like gold.